So can you live like a king in the Philippines? You know, the funny thing about this, it is purely about perspective. It is nothing else. I'll be honest with you, with the income I was making in the call center, I could have retired like a king. In fact, I could have lived like a king already. Um, but the rest is history. And the reality is, back then, I was making about $10,000 a week, um, which means even in the US or wherever I was, it would be a good standard of living. The reason I say it's perspective is a lot of people call it living like a king, because they feel like it. It's got nothing to do with financial wealth in many cases. It's more to do with their quality of life. Being able to wake up and go to the beach in the morning, um, having a cheaply rented house, having a beautiful partner, maybe having a maid, a driver, etc. This is why they say like living like a king. But for most people, they're not living like a king at all. But for them, they are because their life has changed in a very positive way. <coughs> Having somebody as a partner that they may not have had elsewhere, they've got somebody that they're in love with, happy with, content with, and pretty much life in the Philippines is a little bit different in the way day-to-day -day life is. I mean, the Middle East has a very similar thing. People open doors for you. People treat you differently purely because you're a Westerner. There is often <coughs> a belief that you're better than everybody else purely because you're a Westerner. Do I agree with it? The answer is no, but it's actually how people see you. Wealth-wise, it's not actually money-wise. A lot of rich people do live in the Philippines, and most expats won't bump into many of them because they generally don't socialize in the same groups as most expats. They've no interest to, there's no need to, there's no inkling to say, you know what, I'm going to head down to the local bar. They may head down to the marina, they may head into Hong Kong or Singapore or one of the other places that they often earn a good income from, but generally they're in the Philippines because it's cheap. It's got nothing to do with cash generation within the Philippines either because there's not as many opportunities there for the average expat as there would be in other countries. For a business person there is opportunities there but also legislation and red tape to keep you going till Christmas. But for somebody just wanting to retire and live in the Philippines then you may find that you're happier there. People like to interact. People like to talk to everybody. They like to see you. They want to know what you're up to, where you're from, all this sort of stuff that where you're from, nobody really cares about. These are the reasons people feel like they live like a king. Is it wrong to say living like a king? I don't think so. You know, when they define why they say it, then I understand it. But when you're selling an ebook on a false, lie you know it's um or well it's a lie that you're going to be living this world of this wealth and all this sort of stuff then it's rubbish um things have changed since a lot of that stuff was written as well because you got to remember i think the dollar was around 58 back then or 54 and i don't know where it is now but it's not anywhere near that the pound when i first went to the philippines was 98 it's around 70 now so the exchange rates has wiped out 30% on its own. You know, if you take nothing else into account, your income is 30% less than it was when I went to the Philippines. So there's these things that often get overlooked. But a lot of the stuff on the internet is also written a long time ago. As such, a lot of the things have changed slightly, like the exchange rates, well, that's changed quite drastically 30% is a big jump but also the cost of electric and stuff has slowly crept up I would say the cost of food has been the same but the variety has increased since 2007 you could have a chef in the Philippines if you wanted one in fact I have a friend who has somebody come and cook for him every day 
these are the sort of things that are cheap. We have a laundry woman that does our laundry when we're in the Philippines. We don't use a washing machine. It's all hand-washed. We have people do the gardening, etc. Those sort of things are expensive in the West because everybody's brought all the trade skills up due to minimum wage. So a guy doing gardening previously wouldn't have cost a lot. Now it's worse, cheapest is going to be minimum wage. So the fact is, the costs have gone up. Philippines doesn't have that. It does have its minimum wage, but a lot of time it's completely ignored. And I know some people say, oh yeah, but they do the... It's completely ignored most of the time. There's always ways around it. Every business person knows every loophole, and as such, exploit it to the max. Uh, max. Um, what do you think? Are you living like a king in the Philippines? Are you planning to live like a king? Or are you just happy being... Happy. Thanks for watching.